So I'm going to get started and open this up. I'm going to cut this open. This is the extension cord. This is what you plug into the wall socket. Okay. I'll move this, this styrofoam bit so. First, let's just take a look at the actual machine. There's the Dell logo. This is a uh, silver here. Relatively light. It's a very powerful machine. The hinges here. Hmm. Okay, let's take the plastic off. Says XPS. Let's see. So USB port. That's for the power. So HDMI. I think that's uh, Thunderbolt or USB-C, I'm not sure, and that's the headphone jack. On this side is uh, another USB port, and then I think that's for, yeah, that's for SD cards. There's nothing on the front, and on the back, there's nothing. Open up to see how the screen and keyboard looks. Okay, so uh, I've plugged the Dell XPS 15 into the wall socket, and you can see there's actually a light shown on this uh, plug to show that it's charging, connected to a uh, electrical power supply. So this is the first boot up, and I'm, uh, I'm going to turn it on now. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Power button is here. Press it. Nice kind of texture. It's not metallic, kind of... I don't know how to describe it. Kind of soft. Soft texture. Like the back of a BlackBerry Q10. That's the best way I can describe it. Get yourself a BlackBerry Q10 and touch the back side of it and you'll know how this feels like. It's taken quite a while. Okay. Let's 
So select language, we'll pick English. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Oh, Cortana. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Hmm, so that was Your Cortana. region is set to Hong Kong SAR. Is that right? Yes. Oh. Your keyboard is set to the United States International. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Skip. So I'm not actually typing this Which in. Which language do you want to use for your second keyboard layout? Want to use for your second keyboard layout? Try this. Which keyboard layout do you want to add? Yeah. Microsoft Pinion. I've got that you want to use Microsoft Pinion. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Works pretty well. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you have to accept to use Windows. You can decline, but then, you know, no Windows. Do you accept? Yes. Yes. Accept. Oh, you actually, I think you have to click it. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Want to use that one? Yes. Now type your credentials. Mission accomplished. You're all linked up. Next. Next. Okay, it doesn't work. Oh, next. All right, you're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. Found some. Hang tight while we get them installed. I actually haven't used Windows 10 yet, so this is new to me. Don't turn off your device, please. It'll mess things up. Okay. Because I'm actually using Windows 8.1 on my ThinkPad, so this is actually new to me. Leave your device on, please. We're going as fast as we can. Promise. Done and done. You're up to date. So that was fast. Your computer will restart and keep updating. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Type what you want to name your account. Okay. Generic name user. Okay, now type a password for your account. Okay. Hey, look, it's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Uh, yes. Relevant ads. No. Oh, whatever. Except. Your device manufacturer would like your contact info to send you updates and such.
need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. So Cortana is really the kind of star of Windows 10. This setup is taking over, well, first boot, it's taking over 10 minutes. We're now at 11 minutes, over 11 minutes. Alright, so I think it's ready. So it's connected by Wi-Fi, it's charging. Now we'll see how much. Sixty-six percent, okay. Right. So this is on full brightness. And it's a very good matte display. And uh, I think the very first thing I should check see if the internet works. I'm going to check for dead pixels. So red, okay, I'll try. Okay, basically this site is uh, run by a Hong Kong electronics retailer and it's supposed to be used for testing mobile phones for dead pixels, but you could do this for, uh, you can use it also for testing any kind of uh, uh, monitor, including a laptop monitor. So this is red, okay, and I don't see any dead pixels, okay. Try green. Okay, I don't see any. go through all these colors okay this is fine yellow light blue purple black fine. White. Gray. Okay. So no dead pixels. This is fine. And the internet works. I had to pre-order mine and I waited a few weeks before I finally got my hands. Okay, it works. Now the next thing to test is the headphone jack. Okay, so once you plug it in, you actually, this menu comes out and you have to actually select what you plugged in, okay. So I plugged in headphones, okay. And now I can hear in my headphones, okay. Next thing you probably want to test out is the, um, the keyboard. So just open up notepad, notepad. Make sure that all the keys are working. So we just go through all of them. Every single key. These. Shift. Backspace works. Okay, it works. Seems like all the buttons work. Then, uh, next, I think I should try out the USB. Well, let's just try that out now. I'm gonna plug in this uh, USB mouse that the ports are working. Listen. The left port. Okay, it works. Okay, it's working. Normally. Very good.
so all the ports are working normally. I haven't really, well, I should really test the HDMI and the USB C as well, but um, yeah, I'll do that. I think those are, I'll just do that later. But basically, when you get a new computer, you should test those as well. Uh, but all in all, everything looks to be working fine. So uh, that concludes this unboxing and first boot of the Dell XPS 15.